is whey protein harmful? Whey protein is basically dried up milk. So if you're okay drinking milk and consuming milk products, you are okay to take whey protein. Hi, my name is Meghna Rabindranath and I'm a women's fitness specialist and a fitness trainer. Today I'm here to talk about protein. Since I've been in industry for over three years and training or working out for over maybe 10 years, uh, I know a little a thing or two about protein and about maybe some of the doubts that you may have about it. So let's dive into it. Does protein make you fat or bulky? So a lot of women have this concern and a lot of men are quite hopeful about this, I think. Uh, but the short answer is no. The only thing that makes you bulky or makes you too big is too many calories. So calories coming from anywhere can make you too bulky. It's not just a special protein source that will make you bulkier than usual. So protein is a building block of muscle, therefore helps you build better quality muscle. Too many calories can make you big or can make you put on some weight. So if protein is in the bulk of the extra calories that you are eating, you may hold on to more weight or you may put on weight in that process. But protein by itself does not make you bulky or fat. Best sources of protein come from whole and natural foods. So things like eggs, chicken breast, salmon, um, lentils for vegetarians, tofu, tempeh, you have a bunch of options there. So anything that is coming from whole foods because they have more, gen more than just one you know, macronutrient and micronutrient. They give you a whole serving of something that's quite wholesome rather than just one certain macronutrient. So I would always recommend that people get sources of protein from whole foods when you are unable to get or to fulfill your protein needs from whole foods. That's when you look into supplementation. Supplementation is things like whey protein powders, uh, protein bars, you know, a lot of protein products these days on the market. Pick one that works best for you. I always recommend you read the nutrition labels and check whether they are actually high protein and not just marketed as high protein. Is whey protein harmful? Whey protein is not harmful. Uh, well, unless of course you're lactose intolerant, that's when, you know, whey protein might not suit your system. Whey protein is basically dried up milk. So if you're okay drinking milk and consuming milk products, you are okay to take whey protein. It is not unsafe in any way. Anything in moderation is great, including protein in itself and including a whey protein powder. What if you are lactose intolerant? Again, you have a bunch of supplements on the market which are made for vegan consumers, therefore are lactose free and are free of any milk or animal products. How much protein should I be eating? Okay, so usually I would recommend for someone who is not training to try and get one gram per body weight, which means if you are 64 kgs, try and get in 64 grams of protein. That is a good starting point. Once you start training, the needs of your body also change and you have to meet those demands by increasing your protein intake. Once you start to train, I would recommend that you move up to 1 to 1.5 grams of protein per body weight and keep increasing as the intensity of your training keeps increasing. Is it okay for you to eat protein every day? Yes, it is completely fine for you to consume protein every single day. I would recommend even taking a supplement if you are not able to meet your protein needs with whole foods. If you are an individual, especially and if you are training, I would recommend that you definitely try and even get supplementation every day. But if you are not training, I would also still recommend that you do try and meet some amount of your protein goals every single day. So this means eating eggs every day is okay. Eating chicken is okay. As long as your digestive system is okay, your body is reacting to it fine, then you're going to be alright. Does protein help you lose fat? Protein, as, protein in itself does not help you lose fat but it can help with fat loss in one way. Protein as a macronutrient takes a lot of energy to digest. Its TEF or its thermogenic effect of food is rather high. It takes a lot of energy to digest that macronutrient and therefore it keeps you fuller for longer. What happens when you are fuller? You tend to snack less. So what happens there is 
the food keeps you full therefore you snack less therefore it helps you with weight loss the macronutrient by itself will not help you lose fat unfortunately but it will help you stay fuller for longer snack less also helps build muscle in general so it's a great thing to have i always choose to have a couple of snacks especially high in protein around me anytime that i'm hungry i always opt for these snacks they're protein bars or protein chips again like i said make sure that you're consuming bars protein shakes whatever you're consuming read the nutrition label and ensure that it's giving you more protein than any other macronutrient and that's a good protein supplement to have